Okay, now when you're ready to actually install the tools you need inside your machine, um, it's a good idea to have everything kind of ready to go. And so right here, I have a collet chuck or a collet holder with my spot drill in it, and then I have a quarter inch drill bit inside this same Cat 40 holder, but instead it has a drill chuck, takes a standard chuck key, and I have a drill bit tightened into it. And so I'm going to install both of these into the actual machine so that I can touch them off and then run my actual program. And so if I come over towards the machine, a couple things to point out are, if we take a look, I have my tool carousel right here. Now, what you can kind of see from this angle is that tool number two, three, four, and five are already taken. And tool number one is also taken, it's just in the spindle, but it would be right here. And so basically, if you ever want to know what tool is active, it's whichever tool is directly across from the spindle right now. So tool number one is empty, but it's directly across from the spindle. That means tool number one is in the spindle. And we can actually kind of see, you can kind of see down here, the number one, over here, the number three, and that's how we know which tools are in the carousel. Now I knew that these tools were in here, and so when I designed my program, I made my spot drill be tool number six, and my drill bit, my quarter inch drill, be tool number seven. Now I could have made it whatever I wanted to, I would have just had to take those out, and I know we're going to use these cutters for another project later on, so I don't want to necessarily take them out. I want to leave them in there unless I need to take them out. So in this case, I just designed my program around what was already in the machine, and I said I'll use uh, slots number six and number seven in this case. And so basically what I want to call up is slot number six. So in order to do that, I've already kind of told you, you can either go ATC forward six times, or if I just go into MDI mode, all I do is I just type in T six ATC forward now this, this machine doesn't let me do it with the door open so I'm gonna go ahead and close the door I'm gonna redo the command so just two, T6 ATC forward and it should automatically go bypass all the rest of them and go right to the empty slot on tool 6 now obviously it didn't pick up a tool which is what, exactly what I want because if it did that means that that slot is already full so right now it has tool number 6 in its store but it obviously doesn't have tool number six in the spindle. And so here's what you're gonna do. It's very similar to uh, the manual side. You wanna make sure that you clean this taper off, make sure there's no dirt or debris or anything left on it. You wanna do the same thing in the spindle up here, make sure there's no dirt or debris. Now there is no key up here, but what there is is there's two small little keys that engage both of these notches right here. So it won't work if you don't have those lined up. And so all you wanna do is you wanna hold it up in here and then you're going to press what's called uh, the tool release button, which I'll show you here for just a second. It's right in with the tool offset measure, the next tool, tool release, part zero set. So I'm going to press and hold this while I'm installing the tool, and I'll show you what happens when you do that. So right now, we position right back at the spindle. I'm going to, I already cleaned it all off. I'm going to hold it right up into the spindle. I'm going to press and hold the tool release. You can hear it kind of pushing out. I push in and then I let go of the tool release and now that tool is in there. And now when I want to go to my next tool, whatever that tool may be, in this case it's a quarter inch drill, I'm just going to go ahead, close the door, go to the next tool in the spindle. So in this case I just want to go from 6 to 7, so all I'm going to do is press ATC forward. It's going to pick up another empty slot which is tool 7. I'm going to go ahead and grab my quarter inch drill bit, put that right in there, hold my tool release, and it engages it and that's that. Now those are the only two tools I need for my current program, but you would do whatever tools you need um, to make sure that it's good. Now when you want to take a tool out, it's gonna, you're going to call up the tool and it's going to be sitting in the spindle. You have to make sure you hold on to it. If you press that tool release button, it's going to just eject it. So when I hold on to it, I just press the back, I just go backwards. I just press tool release, it drops it, and then I can let go and it's empty now. Now this specific mill, it also has the tool release button right up top here. And so I can actually press this black button right here as well. It does the same thing. However, I wanted to show you the button on the control because our other two mills do not have that button right there. And so I'm going to go ahead and just reinstall this tool again. So I'll use it doing this one. So I just hold it in. Tool release, push it into it, make sure the keys are engaged. 
let go, and now that tool is ready to go. I touch off my tools and I can run my program.